message for the climate change skeptics and, and the, the big oil people? Well, as far as climate change skeptic, I mean, like, I'm, you know, I, I like to, I believe in the scientific method and one should be, one should have a healthy skepticism of things in general and, you know, as, if, if you first things from a scientific standpoint, you always look at things probabilistically, not definitively. And so I think a lot, a lot of times, if, if somebody's a skeptic in the science community, what they're really saying is that they're not sure that it's 100% certain that, right. that this is the case. But that's, that's, that's not the point. The point is um, that is, 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 is to look at it from the other side. So what, what do you think the percentage chance is of, of this being catastrophic for some meaningful percentage of the Earth's population? Um, is it greater than 1%? Is it even 1%? Um, if it is even 1%, why are we running this experiment? Right, because you called it a Russian roulette. We're playing Russian roulette with the atmosphere. We're playing Russian roulette, and, then, and, and as each year goes by, we're loading more rounds in the chamber. Mm. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not wise. Mm -hmm. um, so, so that's... And, and, and what makes it super insane is that we're going to run out of oil anyway. <laughs> like, it's not like there's some infinite oil supply. We're going to run out of it. So we know we have to get to a sustainable means of, of, of transportation no matter what. So why even run the experiment? Right. It's the world's dumbest experiment. Right. Steve Jobs is, was and is a wonderful Silicon Valley icon. Is he someone that you've admired? And what have you learned from Steve's life and work? Uh, <clears throat> well, he's certainly someone I've, I've admired. Um, although I, I did try to talk to him once at a party, and he was super rude to me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think it was me. I think it was sort of, you know, pop the think, course. I think you weren't the first. Yeah, not the first, no. It was, um, but, but uh, yeah, and I was actually there with, like, Larry Page is an old friend of mine. I've known Larry since before he got venture funding for Google, and Larry was the guy that introduced me to Steve Jobs. So it's not as like I'm, I'm going, like, and tugging on his coat, like, you know, please talk to me. Um, <laughs> but... You know, so it was introduced by Larry Page. It's not bad. So, um, but uh, I mean, he obviously he was an incredible guy and, and made fantastic products. Uh, that that um, you know, and, and I don't know. There was like a a certain um, the guy had a certain magic about him. You know, just sort of that was kind of that was really inspiring. So, uh, I mean, I think that's that's really great. Is there a, is there that magic that you try and emulate? Uh, no, I I think uh, Steve Jobs is way cooler than than I am. So. <laughs> that third failure in a row, mm -hmm. did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. I mean, I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. Eight weeks later, Musk bet the company on another flight. We have liftoff. And this time around, everything worked. Perfect. If that fourth launch hadn't worked, that would have been it. Um, we would have not had the resources to mount a fifth. Uh, really, really liking what you do, what, whatever area that you get into, um, given that you know, even if you're, if you're the best of the best, there's always a chance of failure. So I think it's important that you really like whatever you're doing. Um, if, if you don't like it, life is too short. Um, you know, I, I'd say, if, if, and, and also, if, if, you, if you like what you're doing, you think about it even when you're not working. I mean, you, you're, it'll just... It, it's, it's something that your mind is drawn to. Um, and, and if you don't like it, you, you just really can't make it work, I think. I, I think the reality of being president is that you're actually like the captain of a very huge ship and have a small rudder. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because, because obviously, if, I mean, if, if there was a button that a president could push that said economic prosperity, you'd be like, they're hitting that button real fast. Mm, full steam ahead, yeah. <laughs> you could measure the speed of light by how fast they, measure, they press that button. Because that would be that's called the, like the re-election button, um, so so that, so that I'm, not, I'm not sure how much the president can really do, but um, but I think I think uh, uh, you know I'm, I'm generally a fan of like minimal government interference in the economy, um, like the government should be kind of a like the referee but not the player, um, and there shouldn't be too many referees. <laughs> right. um, but, but, but uh, um, there is an exception, which is when there's uh, an unpriced externality, um, such as the CO2 capacity of the oceans and atmosphere. Right. So when you have an unpriced externality, then the normal market mechanisms do not work. And then government, 
the, is government's role to, to intervene in a, in a way that's sensible. Um, and the best way to intervene is to, is to put, is to assign a proper price to whatever the, 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 the common good is that's being consumed. Um, and then, and so then, you're saying there should be a tax on gas? There should be a tax on carbon. But, you know, right. if, the, if the bad thing is uh, carbon accumulation in the atmosphere, then there needs to be a tax on, on that. Um, and then we can, that, that will, res and, and then you can get rid of all subsidies and all everything else. Um, and it seems like logical that you should tax things that, that are most likely to be bad rather than, you know, like, like that's why we tax cigarettes and alcohol. Um, because those, those are probably bad for you. Um, certainly cigarettes are. Um, and <laughs> um, I think currently the, you know, what we're doing right now, which is mining and burning trillions of tons of hydrocarbons that, that used to be buried very deep underground, and now we're sticking them in the atmosphere and running this crazy chemical experiment on the atmosphere. Um, and then you've got the oil and gas companies, which have ungodly amounts of money. Um, and you can't expect them to just roll over and die. Like, they don't do that. Um, so, th actually, what they much prefer to do is spend uh, you know, enormous amounts of money lobbying and running bogus ad campaigns and that kind of thing to preserve their, their situation. I think the first is uh, you need to work, if you, if, depending on how well you want to do, and particularly if you're starting a company, you need to work super hard. So, what, what does super hard mean? Um, well, when my brother and I were starting our first company, uh, in, instead of getting an apartment, we just rented a, a small office and we slept on the couch. Uh, and we, we showered at the, the YMCA. And uh, we're, we're so hot up, we had just one computer. So the, 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 the website was up during the day uh, and I was coding at night. Seven days a week, all the time. Um, and I, I uh, sort of briefly had a girlfriend in that period. And in order to be with me, she had to sleep in the office. So. Uh, Work hard, like, it, it, I mean, every waking hour. That's that's the the thing I would I would say. If if you particularly if you're starting a company, um, and I mean, if you do simple math, say like, okay, if somebody else is working 50 hours and you're working 100, uh, you'll get twice as done as much done in the course of a year as the, as uh, the other company. Uh, the the other thing I'd say is that um, if if you're creating a company or if you're joining a company. Uh, the most important thing is to, uh, attra is to attract great people. So either be with, join a group that's amazing, that you really respect, or if, you, if you're building a company, you've got to gather great people. I mean, all a company is is a group of people that have gathered together to create a product or service. And so depending upon how talented and hardworking that group is and the degree to which they are focused uh, cohesively in, in a good direction, that will determine the success of the company. So. Do everything you can to, to gather great people uh, if, if you're creating a company. Um, then I'd say focus on, on signal over noise. Um, a lot of companies get, get confused. They, they spend money on things that don't actually make the product better. So for example, at, at Tesla, we've, we've never spent any money on advertising. Um, we, we put all of the money into R&D and, and manufacturing and design to try to make the car as good as possible. Um, and uh, I, th I think that's, that's, that's the way to go. So f f for any given company, just can, can keep thinking about, are these efforts that p people are, are expending, are they resulting in a better product or service? And if they're not, stop those efforts. Um, and then the, the, the final thing is, is to sort of, is, is don't, don't just follow the trend. So. Um, you may have heard me say it to, to, that it's good to think in terms of the, the physics approach of first principles, uh, which is rather than reasoning by analogy, you boil things down to the most fundamental truths you can imagine and you reason up from there. And this is a good way to figure out if, if, if something really makes sense or if it's just what everybody else is doing. Um, it, it, it's hard to think that way. You can't think, think that way about everything. It takes a lot of effort. Uh, but if you're trying to do something new, it's the best way to think. Um, and that framework was developed by, by physicists to figure out counterintuitive things um, like quantum mechanics. So it's really a powerful, powerful method. Um, and uh, anyway, so that's, 
And, and then I think the, the final thing I would encourage you to do is now is the time to take risk. Uh, you don't have, <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't have, you don't have kids. Uh, your, your obligation. Oh, well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not kids. Um, the the the, the uh, but but as you as you get older, your obligations increase. So you the and once you have a family, you start taking risk not just for yourself but for your family as well. It gets much harder to uh, do things that might not work out. Um, so now is the time t to do that uh, before you before you have those obligations. So I would I would encourage you to take risks now. Do something bold. Um, you won't regret it. Thank you. And I was trying to think what, what would most influence the future, uh, you know, what are the problems that we, that we have to solve. Um, and um, and I, I actually talked a lot to friends and, and my housemates and that kind of thing, and dates, which was not, maybe not the best thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I actually met, uh, met a woman I, I dated briefly in, in college um, who now works at Scientific American as a writer, and, uh, and, and she, she related the anecdote that uh, we went on a date. I was, all I was talking about was electric cars. Uh -huh. um, it, that was not a, big, a winning conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a bit of a monologue, was it? Yeah, she said, uh, she, she said the first question I asked her was, do you ever think about electric cars? <laughs> she says, no. So she never does. So, so you learn from that. That wasn't the best yeah, startup was, line. Wasn't wasn't great. Was but great. It, it has uh, recently it's been more effective. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I know yeah. this man. <laughs> yeah. So so when I was thinking of like what I thought would would affect the world uh, as a student, it wasn't really from the standpoint of those are the things I'll get involved in. It was kind of more in the abstract. These are the things I think will happen that will affect the world, um, but but not that I will be involved in them. As it turns out, I have, but uh, I always thought that we would make much more progress in space, um, and it just it just didn't happen. It was it was really disappointing. So, um, uh, yeah, I was I was really, was really quite bothered by it. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, when, when we went to the moon, um, we were supposed to have a base on the moon. We we're supposed to send people to Mars, and that stuff just it just didn't happen. It, it, we went backwards. Um, and, and, you know, we got the space shuttle, but the space shuttle could only go to low Earth orbit, where a Saturn V could go to the moon. Now the space shuttle's gone. And so that just seemed like a, a really bad thing. So uh, I thought, um, well, maybe it was a question of, of um, there not being enough attention or will to, to do this. Um, but this, I, this, was, was, this was a wrong assumption. So, I, I um, so, but that, that's the reason for the greenhouse idea. It was to, the thought was if, if, um, if there could be sort of a, a small philanthropic mission to Mars, you know, so I, wasn't, I was expecting to lose all, all the money that I invested in, in, in that. Um, but if we could send a small greenhouse to the surface of Mars with, with seeds in, in dehydrated nutrient gel and you hydrated upon landing, and you'd have this great shot of you know, little greenhouse with, with little green plants with on, on a red background. Um, I thought that would get people excited. So you literally imagined a photograph inspiring a new yeah, generation. Yeah, you got to sort of imagine the money shot, if you will. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, I think I think you know, green plants and red background would be that. Um, and and people tend to get interested and excited about precedents and superlatives. So this would be the furthest that life's ever traveled. The the first life on Mars, um, as far as we know, um, and uh, and I thought, well, maybe that would result in in a, in a bigger budget for NASA, and and um, and then we could sort of resume the journey. Mm -hmm. That was the basic idea.